Hello, welcome to lesson number three of painting edition. I wanted to show y'all a few little doodads in my house. Look, there's Zuzu, she's gonna help me today. And lesson number three, we're gonna start with a little home tour. Uh, this is one of my, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Uh, we, this is one of my things that has recently happened. Judah did this at school. He put her in LSU gear and um, at the LSU football game. So you can tell he is Corey Kendall as he signed. Here we are, these, these are my people that are in heaven, and so I just did this almost to help me as I, uh, as I miss them. So I wasn't showing you our bedroom, I'm showing you my closet. This is where I was crying the other day, all by myself. But I have set up a mom store, I know, with my mom bucks. So I, I made these mom bucks, and I got all the toys that I had like collected. This is a sad thing. I've collected all these toys, for uh, like like I would buy them at stores for like a dollar like things that were on like clearance <laughs> and I bought them for birthday parties well now they're in my mom's store and my kids are buying them for their mom bucks and so here are the mom bucks I'm gonna show y'all how to do this little uh, mom bucks store so you can earn money um, cl by cleaning room doing something creative um, big things are worth 16 small five and medium ten obviously I didn't put this in order I'm not really sure why because my brain doesn't work and the services they can buy extra screen time or an extra snack because uh, we all know that goodness well hey Victoria I see you from Reno we miss you so much there's Zuzu again isn't she beautiful okay so we're gonna come back in here into the studio while the kids are playing in their room but Oh, here, I have to show you this. Zuzu made this fort with her little sister. Kelly Smithson, I love you so much. I hope you're holding a baby right now. Hey, Pastor John McCallum. Thank you for everything you do for Hot Springs. Okay, so under here, look, I don't know if you can see this, but they have narwhal and unicorn. Oh, the light's not good, but that's their, that's their uh, fort. Hi, Danica. Okay. Hey, Demira. Hey, Courtney. I'm so glad you're watching. Okay, so today, I just that's a little sneak peek of my house. Here, we're back in my studio, ready to learn, ready to paint, if I can figure out my tripod. So, I recently was reading, um, I'll help you in just a minute, baby. Okay. Um, so, I would recently was reading in Exodus um, this morning, recently. Um, Exodus 14 and I just thought how appropriate for us right now um, and starting in verse 10 as Pharaoh approached the Israelites looked up and there were Egyptians marching after them they were terrified and cried out to the Lord and I thought isn't that where we are like we look up we see the news we are terrified by the facts hi Holly Cantor I love you such a sweet my best cousin you're my cousin slash sister. But um, I'm so glad you're here. So, um, so anyway, he said, we look up, we see the news, and it terrifies us. Because uh, I'm there. I've gotten to where, like, right now, I cannot watch the news. And, um, and so then it says that they were terrified. They cried out to the Lord. And they said to Moses, was it because, uh, well, sorry, I'm going to skip forward. Um, they're terrified. They don't know what to do, uh, which is where we are. And only God can save us. So then Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. That God will deliver them. And then I love the verse 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. So that is what we're going to be painting today. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. And, um... That's been always been one of my favorite scriptures, but I think in this season, in this time, um, it's so, so appropriate. And um, just because I feel like panic and fear are rampant, and we need that. We need to be reminded that only God can deliver us. Only He can deliver us. But it says, "Do not be afraid. Stand firm." And you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring from you today. So it's not us. We're not going to do anything. We can't do anything. What a great reminder of, like, 
we can't do anything in this piece and to make this better. Um, well, except stay home. <laughs> but um, we can't do anything, but we are going to see the deliverance from the Lord. And um, so we're going to paint that. And we're going to kind of do a, uh, not as flowery today. We've been doing some flowers and um, kind of girly things, which is my specialty, my favorite thing. Um. Fl flowery sparkles. But today we're going to do a shield and a sword and kind of make it a little bit more masculine. And um, I was also thinking we're going to pick up the full page today. We have been like uh, folding our paper in half and making kind of a card to share with somebody. Um, but I was thinking let's do more of an 8 by 10 today and you could if you could either frame it or you could either um, or you could give it to somebody just as is and um, Jeannie Watson you're asking what kind of markers we used the other day we used um, actually just regular Crayola markers in my son's handy dandy marker holder um, so uh, they're just regular Crayola markers and then th they do make uh, lettering markers that are great but these work just as fine and I figured we couldn't all run to the store and get whatever we needed at this point um, so I'm gonna show you how to do this kind of in two different ways and um, with markers and with paints today so you can get out your paint uh, get out your paper and your uh, brushes if you have those ready maybe a little um, a little napkin to dab your brush on but um hi Betsy Bradbury I hope you're having a great day Betsy Bradbury little um, and I hope your little baby girl she's so cute I hope she's doing well but maybe she could paint with us too okay so we're gonna get our papers and we're gonna focus on this one wording so I'm gonna turn my camera around if I can figure out how to do it because I'm not technologically savvy and See if I can figure this out. Sorry, everyone. Look, you're getting just. Oh, look, there's my desk. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> so, there's something I'm working on. Oh, wrong way. You can tell I'm so professional at this. Um, so, here we go. There's a little closer view than yesterday, which is good. Okay. So, we're going to start with our pencil. And we're going to start with sketching out essentially a, a shield. A shield. Shield of faith. Here we go. So, we're going to go. A little half moon and a little half moon right here. Susie, do you still need help? Oh, perfect. Okay. And then we're going to bring it down on both sides. And again, this is a light sketch because we are going to erase it. So, hi, Renee Ferris. I'm glad you're here today. And then we're going to bring it down to a point. So, kind of where this goes in the very middle, where it meets right here. Then we're going to go all the way straight down, and that's where our point's going to meet at the bottom to make our shield. Okay, so it's a pretty simple sketch where we're just going two half moons right here. We're going to meet in the middle, draw a line down, line down, line down. Now this this line down we're going to erase immediately um, because we're going to come down to a point right down here so we can meet in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to let you do that while I help you. Hmm. Oh, I didn't do that right, did I? <laughs> Baby girl, I don't know. Let's see, right here. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. You can, you don't have to worry about that. Susie's trying to help me, but she knows that her mom needs a lot more help than she can give. <laughs> So here we go. Um, okay, so we got our shield. And then across the shield, we're going to do a sword. So right across the middle of this shield. Hey, Bonnie, I'm glad you're here. So let's see. Right across here, we'll start with a line, just kind of a straight line to give us, give us definition. Okay. And then we're going to come around that. We're going to start at a point. Essentially, we're making almost two parallel lines, but they're going to meet at the at the point. So here we got <clears throat> almost two parallel lines, and then they're coming together at a point about two inches out from our shield. Okay. Hi, Laura, Bright, and Lori. I'm glad y'all are here. Okay. Then 
right about here, right, uh, right inside of our shield, we're going to make a little cross handle. Two little uh, rectangles are going to go on either side. And then our handle, let's see, make sure you can see this, um, is going to be a little bit bigger than the rest of our blade. And it's not going to be quite a, I'm going to also erase those lines. I'm erasing the lines where you can't see the shield anymore. So no shield, and then my handle is gonna be bigger. So I've actually probably made it a little too big. Hi, Lori, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so hold on one second, I'm sorry. I made it a little too fat over here. I'm just gonna make that a little skinnier on the handle. <clears throat> okay, so we have our shield. Shield of Faith, Sword of the Spirit. Hey, Melissa, I'm glad you're here. So, okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you, we're going to watercolor this, and then I'm also going to show you just on a piece of um, computer paper, because I'm assuming everybody has computer paper at their house, how to do this maybe with markers in case you can't get on Amazon right now and get, you know, all the supplies. So here we go. We're going to do... Um, let's see. What color should my shield be? What do you think, Zoo? Uh, a little grayish. Maybe. We'll, we'll do like a little gray and a little purple, okay? I know it kind of sounds weird, but it's just going to be a light color. And we're going to just fill in, fill in that shield all the way. not to get it on your um, on your sword. Okay. So this is just our first step. And if you have like a hair dryer nearby, um, you could take this in your bathroom and just kind of blow dry it before our next step. You don't have to do that, but it would help just make sure that it doesn't bleed once we start doing our lettering on top of it. So we just want that pretty, pretty look, pretty watercolor look. And okay, so that's step one. We're going to let that dry. Okay. Before we start doing our lettering. So I'm going to show you earlier. I was showing y'all my mom store <laughs> that I made in order to uh, pass the time with the children's. So I'm going to use just my markers and computer paper to show you what I did for mom's store. Very easy. Anyone can do this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to essentially just make a rectangle with a marker. You could do this with a Sharpie, whatever marker you have at home. Wedge rectangle. We can do that. Everybody can do that. I have faith in you. And then we're going to do, let's see here. We're going to bring out on both sides, give that little guy some arms okay little robot we're also going to give that little guy some legs okay so we got a little robot man right now now from his legs he is going to have giant feet all the way out to where his arms go okay then we're in inside here we're going to bring it down as if we're making a sideways triangle just like that and then another sideways triangle without a out of bottom okay so we've essentially just made a little banner and then we're gonna connect this corner y'all my phone is about to die I've got to plug it in again um, and then this corner with this corner okay so that's very very simple and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shade that in right here so simple so, so simple. Anyone can do that. My, the triplets could do that. And so, hi, Mickey. Hey, Kylie. I'm glad y'all are here. Okay, so I'm going to, on the top of this, I'm going to write mom, mom. And I'll show the mom store again at the end if you want. But uh, so we're going to do mom with our foligraphy. We've learned that the last few days where essentially on the down strokes, we just make a little going to be a little bit more shaded on any down stroke. Mom. And then store. So 
So again, this is just kind of a fun little thing. You do not have to do that at all. This is more just like passing the time as our other painting is drying. So mom's store. And if you've just joined us, we have made a shield and a sword and we're letting, we're letting it dry. Hey Drew, would you go blow dry that one for me just for like, like 30 seconds. You can count to 30. So mom's store. And then I, um, so I priced everything and like I said, um, that you could to earn mom bucks. Like if this was for earning, I said, you know, you can do, you know, one mom buck for a clean room, one mom buck for something creative, one mom buck for doing something nice for a sibling, because uh, praise the Lord, we need some help with that. Okay, everybody does, I think, at this point. <laughs> so let, let, let me show you something. So pretend this isn't here. Um, if you have just markers, let's do our sword and our shield in here with just markers. So essentially I'm doing that same design I just did. And let's, I'll do my uh, shield, my sword in a different marker. So I'm gonna go back to the original in just a second. So essentially I'm just drawing my sword. So this is just an option. Thank you, baby girl. This is just an option if you don't have watercolors at home, okay? So I'm, I'm going to do like an extra little line on here. So essentially I'm just kind of tracing the other line that I made. And here. Hmm. Let's see. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in some water and I'm going to use the markers as if they're watercolor or watercolor pencils, even though they're not. So I'm just touching that line and letting it bleed and then wiping it around. And again, if you're in the hot springs area, I have so many supplies and I would love to share with you. So I put them on my front porch. If you would like to come get them, you are welcome to it. So again, this is how you can do watercolor with a marker. So obviously it doesn't give quite the same effect, but it sort of works for when you're cooped up in your house and you don't have all the supplies you need. So I'll also do my little sword. Okay, now if you don't mind me, I'm going to scoot my desk back because I am losing battery and I need to plug up my phone. So. We'll see if we can get this going. So we're gonna get our paper. Let's see here. Get our paper. And this is dried because Zuzu has taken it to the bathroom in order to um, in order to dry it for me. Thank you, Zuzu. Okay. Let's see if I can plug this guy up. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. As you can see, I'm super good at this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Here, everyone say, thank you, Zuzu. Your mom needs all the help she can get. Okay. Let's see here. I promise I can get this. I can do this. I can do this. Hmm. Y'all, pray for me right now. I need all the prayers that I can figure this out. <laughs> Zuzu, I might need your help over here. Okay, I promise we're going to finish this first. Okay, so I'm scooting my desk up. <laughs> Jessica Ackerson, I need all the help. All the help, please. Let's make sure I can get this. Help me. Okay. Um, yes. Would you get the plug, baby? <laughs> Here we go, everyone. Hi. This is me trying to figure out how to do this. So our next step, make sure all your paints are wet. And um, 
so I've already, let's see here, I've already put water in all of my paints, and then you can go ahead and fill in your, um, your sword, let's see here, thanks baby, um, you can go ahead and fill in your sword with a gray, so you're going to use just your black and fill in your sword, my goodness, this is when I need my husband home. I don't know anything about any kind of uh, any kind of technology. Technology is not my friend. And if I can't get this to work, we're gonna just pray. Okay. Hello, Janice Higdon. I might need you to come over here and fix this. She's my neighbor. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just going to take it out of this. And we are going to... Zizi, will you hand me that box, please? Mm -hmm. Thanks. This one? Yes, please. Thank you so much. No, I'm sorry. That one one on the ground okay here I'll just hold it the good old-fashioned way thank you baby okay so here we go with our black yeah so that'd be great do my camera woman okay can you hold it this way baby thank you okay I am sorry y'all thank you love Our sword black and then we're gonna get a smaller brush and again my favorite brushes to use are these uh, brown bristled brushes or white bristled and again if you need one I would even be happy to mail you one um, it would be an easy thing for me to do if that would help you so what we're gonna do now is we're going to write the Lord will fight for you so just for little lines to like to know where we're going we're gonna do two little lines in the middle of the first section of of our um, of our shield so two little lines again we're gonna do them really light because we're going to um, we're gonna erase them and then right down here we're gonna do a line about an inch down from the sword and then an inch down from that. Okay, so two lines up here, two lines right here. So, take your small brush, and I'm gonna use black. If you want to use a different here. color, you totally Wait. can. This foot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, they got to see your beautiful face, so that's okay. So, we're gonna start out with our bowligraphy, and we're gonna write the Lord. So, essentially, your cursive, the. And then I love to do like a curly Q on top of my T. The Lord. I like to capitalize all of the word. So here we go. I'm going to come I'll bring this around with a little thin line. I'm going to make this thicker to do that photography. And again, I'm going to bring the H around and bring the faux to make it dark on the down stroke. Okay? Here we go. With Lord, I'm just going to make on the down stroke make it thicker. And one of the main things about lettering is you want to keep your lines pretty crisp. Okay? That's what they can't hear. They can see you. It's okay. Like your name doesn't speak. You can't well, hear. Well, that's you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. The Lord will fight. Perfect. The Lord. Okay. Let's see. So or will fight. We're going to do that. All 
in capitals. And again, if you wanted to, you could easily do this with a Sharpie if you do not have watercolors at your house right now. There is a link on my Facebook page if you would like to purchase watercolors from Amazon. I did just, I got the cheapest ones that I thought would work. Watercolor paper would also be awesome right now, but again, if you don't have it, it's okay. So for you is going to be right down here, right after that. The Lord will fight for you. On the downstroke, make it thicker. Can you get a little closer? Perfect. Thank you so much. Hey, Bonnie. <laughs> the Lord will fight for you. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but right over the Y, it's bleeding a little bit because my uh, shield wasn't quite uh, dry, dry enough. That's why we wanted to use time with the blow dryer if you could to make sure it was nice and dry let's see so you need only be still so for this next line we're going to fit three words on there two in philography and then one in capitals so we're going to do you and we're going to do a fancy y this is my new favorite y so i'm going to go down and around before i bring it out I think some of the characters sometimes whenever you mess up yesterday I misspelled <laughs> all kinds of words <laughs> had to do it over got to see my real life yesterday you need and then only we're gonna capitalize because that's a good word to remember this is all you have to do only be still and trust be still and know he is God only and we're gonna come back and do something to only in just a little bit. So only. Now be, our next word, be still. We're going to kind of draw out one, one tiny word. We're going to bring, you could essentially write B right here in the very middle. And then what I'd like to see you do is bring out the E out here. So it's a little curl. Bring out that line. And then we're going to bring the B at the beginning the same way, okay? So we just made a really long word out of something very small. B. And then our last word, still. So we're going to do capital letters, and essentially this is an upside-down triangle. And we're going to follow these lines to bring our word to make it fit perfectly in there, okay? So... F, make sure I spell it right, you. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> okay, you need only be still. Now, Get my smallest brush again. I think I have. Let's look at this brush. It's a unicorn handle. Doesn't that just make you happy? Makes me happy. Oh, look. Mermaid handle. Oh, makes me happy. Hi, Miss Olivia. How are you? Okay. So, I'm getting my smallest brush. And I'm going to trace my uh, what I have so far with my shield. I'm going to trace it with black with my smallest brush. And, it, and our line does not need to be perfect. Again, sometimes that's the charm of this. It's the fact that it's hand-painted with watercolor. So my line is not perfect, but I'm going to just work as best I can. And I'm going to bring it. I, 
for me, the motion moving it down, my hand it gets steadier. If there's a little break in your lines, it's okay. Right here I have a break in my line, so I just did a little dot. And you'll, you'll even notice when I pull this around, my shield is not perfectly symmetrical. So, definitely not perfect. Over here. here we go. Okay, so there we have our shield outlined. And I'm actually going to do two outlines, kind of like we did on the other shield I was showing you with the markers. So, I'm going to bring that around and do it again almost like a little border. Earlier today, one of my friends from church, she invited me to go with my kids and do this like little um, parade for one of the nursing homes here in town. And just outside, like walk outside six feet apart, uh, walk around, you know, dressed up in fun outfits. And I honestly was thinking, oh, you know, I don't want to go do that. And um, I was just being selfish, really. And But we went, and it was so powerful. It was so powerful, and I'm so glad that she had that creative idea of how to love others creatively at this time. And the, the residents who waved out their window to us, I mean, I will never forget that. All because these sweet kids looked so precious and did cartwheels for them and anyway it was awesome okay the lord will fight for you you need only be still so right now we're going to work on our sword and do a little detail work to our sword do you see where your arm's getting tired <laughs> yeah, i hope cecilia creaseman is watching and she can help me with my technology so i am outlining the sword and giving it a little detail work with uh, with the handle just bringing almost little rainbow lines down, little curved lines, which is supposed to be the leather. We'll add a little bit of brown in there in a little bit. But So we're going to outline our sword. I wish I knew a lot about swords, but I don't as far as detail work. So bringing that. Oh, my. Look what I just did. I just did it. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> It's going to be okay. So essentially, if I do that with watercolor, I get my damp brush, and I just kind of almost erase it, sort of. It's not going to be perfect, but I don't think anybody's going to mind. Okay. And then we're going to, we'll cover that up in a little bit anyway, but I just wanted to smear out most of that black. Okay. okay. So... Outline. Here we go. Outline the blade. do a line down the middle. Most well, swords have a line down the middle. What do you think, Zoo? <laughs> I'm guessing. Okay. And then for our outside, because we're going to, you know, we're going manly here, I'm going to use blue. You can use whatever color you want. If you want to stick with the purple family, that's fine. I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. And then I'm going to come, because it's kind of, I guess, a gray, but it's a gray-blue. And I'm going to come all the way around it with that gray-blue. But I'm leaving a bit of space, maybe like a quarter inch, in between where the paint is and then where my painting is started. And, especially and also at the edges of the paper. I'm going to leave a little bit. And the key to this is making sure your brush is very wet. Uh, Make sure that you're not, this is too dry right here. So just to give it that smooth watercolor look, you need to make sure and add some water to it. Extra water. So bring that again around again. I wonder what the boys are doing, Zoo. What do you think? Playing Legos? Probably. They're being quiet today. It's a miracle. Here we go. And add a little bit more. 
grab that blue gray coming all the way around this is kind of going to make our shield pop a little bit especially with that quarter inch um, blank space in between the color and the shield okay there you go now if you have like a black pen this is also going to need to dry for a little bit so you could pull out your blow dryer again if you like or you can just let it dry and then come back and do the next part so this is not even close to dry what i did earlier with my markers or i would show you how to do it but you that can also be dried with your blow dryer so side note if you want to win this little card if you post pictures of your artwork today and tag me in them and just invite somebody to come join us at one o'clock on weekdays, I'm gonna mail you this little um, this little five by seven piece of artwork that I wrote. So you can just send me your address and I'll just get it in the mail to you. That will be fun to get a little happy in the mail. Um, also here are my mom bucks. They're very fancy. I, I just put, I made a little, I found something online and I drew my face over it with my iPad. So they're very, very fancy, but they can spend them in my store. And I can also put a link to those if you guys want to, to do those. Yeah. Um, to take up time, you can sell all kinds of things from around your house to your children. Okay, I'm going to see how dry this is. This looks pretty dry. So again, I'm going to take my tiny brush. I'm going to take my black and get, I want to make sure it's pretty dark, but teeny tiny bit on there and we're gonna highlight some words and again the way we do that is we see where the Sun is coming from and what it would hit if it was if it was shining on those letters and this just makes a few of the letters pop pop the word Lord and then we'll fight for you will fight is pretty tiny so I'm not even going to use this brush for this you could use something like this like a um, a sharpie fine put fine point marker that that could be the line for will fight and actually my F is a little um, it's a little wet still so I don't want to do that right now but I'm going to do it on four you. And I challenge you to find somebody in your life that you, that just thinks that you think needs encouragement today and give them this. You could even be creative and take a picture out of, out of a frame you have in your house and go ahead and frame it and then take it to a neighbor already framed. Okay. I'm going to go over you. Looking okay? Mm hmm. You spelled everything right. Oh, that's good. You know I did yesterday. Okay, for only. We're coming back to that one. We're going to do B. Still. And then to. to we don't forget to erase your lines, but you're going to need to wait until this is kind of fully dry before you get a pencil in there and start erasing because it would be really easy to just smudge that right now. And although I smudged it right here, I could kind of cover that up when I went over it and we don't really have anything left to cover up. So I will wait till that's drier. Okay. Okay. For still, we're going to do the same thing we're going to do to only, but I'm going to use the fine, put, fine point marker with only. But still, I'm going to bring lines down on every letter and make a little ladder. Okay? F. You're going to bring, oop, I got, my line got away from me right there. I'd sing it right now. 
Can you make up one, too? If my mom was here, she could make up a song. She's so good at making up songs. Now we're going to get out our little fine point marker and I'm going to do that same thing. Oh, this one. Just a little bit of glue. Well, let's see what we got working with over here. This is my washable marker. So not quite as fine point, but it will do the trick. It will just add a little detail work. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. And draws the eye to the word only. Only be still. And then we'll fight. Again, my F is a little too wet for me to do this because it will bleed and not look right. But I'm going to go ahead and do will. I'll show you how to fix that. That would be a lesson, a good lesson. What do you think, Zia? It looks good. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. You guys have like some some music playing in the background. Can you can you hum hum in the background? Do do do. <laughs> A little smudge right here. Can you see that, Zia? And all I'm going to do is just kind of touch it with my damp brush, and it sort of goes away. Like you wouldn't really notice it unless you knew to look for it, which is good. It's where you want it. Okay. Oh, you know what I've been forgetting to do? Y'all have to sign your work. So usually artists sign in the bottom corner. So I'm also going to write, this time I'm just going to write with a pencil our verse. So, Exodus 14, 14, and then I'm going to sign my name right under it. You don't have to do that, but that's where I'm going to sign my name, Tan. So, the Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Thank you, Coco. Coco's watching. <laughs> no, I know, but look, Coco's watching on Maddie's. Only be still. Okay, so we're going to go upstairs and see what the kids are doing. But again, if I were you, I would frame this. I would take it to a neighbor, put it on their doorstep, let them know how much you love them. Take it to a medical worker. Oh, someone just fell downstairs or threw down some toys. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, <laughs> but there you go. There's, there's real life. So look, here's Zoo. See, Zoo, your best friend wants to FaceTime you. Isn't that fun that she gets to be home all day and talk to her friend? Okay. You could take it to someone who's not feeling well. Here we go. More house. We got... Let's see what everyone's doing. I'm going to do a little interview. Hi, Shonda Goodwin. Hopi? There you are. What are you doing? You're just sitting in a tiny rocker? I can switch. Oh, and what are you doing? Um, I was playing Barbies. You're playing, show me your Barbies. Mom. Yes. So I, I am. Are you decorating your Barbie room? <gasps> show me your favorite one. In your Barbie room. I like this one. Oh, that's your favorite one. What's her name? She, Let me guess. Aaliyah. Oh, Ella. Ali is her best friend. Hi. I love it. I love it. I like your tiny rocker you were rocking, and only your little booty could fit in that. <gasps> and a dollar? Is that for me? No. No. $2. Can I have Look, here, look. This is my real life. Look, there's... We had a puppet show yesterday, thanks to Mia, and all of the string that Judah got out today. <gasps> Are you resting? I know you're not really sleeping. <laughs> I know you're not sleeping. Mom, look, I saw. I said I, I, said, I love you, Coco Bean. 
We love you. Show me what you were doing. I'm going to go in there in a second. What were you doing? Nothing. Nothing. How are your unicorns? Your unis. Were you were you drawing? No. Coco, what were you doing? I was watching YouTube. Oh. Did you? Let's see what the boys are doing. What are y'all doing? Playing Legos. Playing Legos. Legos? Oh, I love it. I'm trying to fix mine. I love it. Y'all are doing great. And I found. And you did I so well today. today. Mom, did we get to do the show tomorrow? Yeah. Good job. Mom, can I? Can, I can you say me? hi? Hi. Hi. Here, wait. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to go back and we're going to look at my, see if the verse is dried. Are you throwing stuffed animals over? We're drying our towels here because that's just easier. Look at all of this. This is, here's real life. And here we go. Down the stairs. Going to go back and check our verse. Make sure everybody. Bungee jumping. Oh my. Oh my. Here's the fort that the kids were building. And here is just, I'm going to show you one more, one more look at our mom store with the mom box. Why don't you show it, Coco? Mom store, so along with my shoes. Mommy, can hey, you could buy a pair of my stinky our, shoes. Mom, can you give us our mom books back if we pay them to you and we don't like the things? Oh, no. Once you spend them, you spend them. There's no return policy. Uh, can I just... <laughs> You can after you buy it, but you've got to do your chores first to earn your mom bucks. Did you, did you, you did so good. Hey, I think y'all can go outside to play now. It's so pretty and the sun is shining. Praise God. Wait, mom, mom, Hold on. I'm a, hey, Coco. Sorry. Hold on. So here we got, this is what we did today. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Um, mom, so here. such a great reminder. Of what God is doing and what we need to be doing to be able to say, okay, God, you have this. Only you can change what's going on. Look, Coco's talking to someone who's here. We'll go check out and see who it is. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to watch How to Do the Lettering to share it with a friend. And then I'll post your pictures of what you've done. And then I want to be able to share it uh, with other people to invite people to come, to invite people to to look up to who God is, to remind them of who God is by reading his word, by memorizing his word, and then by giving his word to someone who is in need. Love you.